Mike Sermon, Danger and Play. Dot com. Gorilla Mindset. What'd you think? What'd you think? We just had a fascinating interview with a, a South African Civilian Defense League. Fascinating parallels. Very, very interesting. A lot of people learn things and heard things that they you can't hear anywhere else. That you're, you're only going to learn anywhere else. And I'm so glad that you were able to watch that video. Please download that video and upload it to your YouTube channel. Get the message out because we have to speak truth to power. And the power right now is the fake news media establishment. That is the real power. Go watch that Periscope. It just aired live, raw and uncut. I also released the documentary on Sweden. <clears throat> so here's what I did today, bros. This is the power of guerrilla mindset, the power of Keck, Harambe. Woke up, released my documentary on Sweden, wrote articles, interviewed South Africaners about the genocide occurring in South Africa. Tonight, 60 Minutes, just another day. That's what I like. Everybody keeps asking me about 60 Minutes. Everybody keeps asking me about 60 Minutes. And I'm thinking that is like the least interesting part of my day, bros. That is so beyond, you know, like, it's just another, doesn't matter to me. What does matters to me? So Lee Stranahan, who's a nobody and begs for media coverage, is shading me again. It's just another day of my life. Rick Wilson, another nobody, shading me. Uh, Keith Oberman, another nobody. All these people shade me. They're all trying to shade me. But here's my question. What is 60 Minutes going to do? They're going to kill me? What, they're going to take away my confidence? They're going to shame me? They're going to humiliate me? What kind of weak-minded person gives one shit about 60 Minutes? Right? I only, did the, I only did the interview because they go, Mike, they wanted the interview so bad, they said, Mike, we'll fly a crew out to your hometown. We'll fly a crew to your home. That's the only reason I did it. I didn't fly out to 60 Minutes. This is how jealous people are and what haters they are. I didn't fly out to them, to New York. I go, ah, you know, they go, we want you to do this interview so badly. They flew a whole camera out to me, whole, whole crew, to, to talk to me. Flew Scott Pelly out there. Right? So all these people, you know, a lot of people go, you look nervous. This is called high energy. This is how I am all the time. Why? We got a life mission. Life mission we're living. Yeah, Scott Pelly came to me. <clears throat> so that's what I think is kind of funny is why would I care if they're mean to me on the Internet? Oh, my God. People on the Internet are going to be mean. People on TV are going to be mean. I've already, I've already been getting my message out, right? I've already been getting my message out already. So that, that's the thing. Tonight you're going to watch art, art in real time. Scott Pelly got mad at me for wearing a suit because he didn't have a tie on, right? I went in right away. Right away I went in looking sharp. So yeah, that's the whole thing though. It's like, why... Why would I be worried about the television? Oh no, people aren't gonna like me. But you know what, more people like me than not. And this is why people like Lee, people like uh, Wilson, people like Lewis Minch, the reason they're angry at me, Pizza Party Ben is here. I was with Pizza Party Ben in Alaska a year ago. How many Twitter followers did I have a year ago, Ben? Right, I kicked it with Ben, Milo, the whole squad up in Alaska, right? My profile just keeps rising, right? I 30,000, yeah, maybe hit 50, something like that. I thought I was at 30. So they are watching me eclipse of them because people love me. This is something that people don't get because they're out of touch. People don't get because they're out of touch is the more people, the more often you show me, the more people like me, even if they try to hate me. How can you hate this, right? That is why, for me, anytime people see me, anytime people hear me speak, anytime people become in touch with my message, they want to see more. They love me more. So people like Rick, who can't take care of himself, has very bad you know, problems, these people are like, well, why is Mike so much bigger than I am, right? Because they think 
that what I, they deserve what I have. This is the mindset problem these people have, sewer rat wreck. They see what I have and they think they deserve it. But you know what the truth is? You know what the truth is? I don't deserve what I have. You don't get in life what you deserve. You get in life what you take. In life, you don't get what you deserve. In life, you get what you go for and you grab and you take. And I decided that I wanted to be the number one person in media. That was my vision, to be the number one journalist in the world. Not because I deserve it, not because I'm entitled to it, because I'm going to take it and I do it every day. Right now, it is a Sunday. Ask Shauna how many days off I take in the past you know, three years. Ask her how many, when I made a commitment in my own mind to be the number one man in journalism, ask Shauna how many days has Cernovich taken off? The only time I took 18 hours off is I had food poisoning. I took 18 hours off for food poisoning. Otherwise, I don't take time off. Why? You don't get what you deserve in life. In life, you get what you work for and that you take. Otherwise, you're nothing. So a lot of people are jealous of me and that is just a bad, it's a bad mindset to have because they should learn from me and then they should get these hot stories. How many people are you going to go to for the truth about South Africa? Right? How many people are you going to go to for the truth about what is happening in South Africa? You're not going to go to the people hating on me. The people hating on me, they're not giving you, this is what you got to realize. The people who hate on me aren't providing you better content. The people hating on me aren't saying, go read my stuff because it's so much better. Right? All they do is they hate on me and they don't do anything for themselves. And that is why I keep rising and they keep falling. And why I'm going to continue to rise. Tonight will be fun. We want to work on the documentary. I think we're going to do a documentary on fake news. I also want to do a documentary on the farm genocide in South Africa. So, th so there's a lot of projects we want to do. The documentary on Sweden, which was crowned by people like Rob, who's here, it was crowdfunded by um, Sunrich Media, so crowdfund. I don't keep any of that money. I just use it to fund journalism, real journalism. That is, we want to do a documentary on South Africa, South African genocide. We want to do a documentary on uh, fake news. And then I'm going to write another book. That's what we got planned for this year in Sunridge Media Land. I'm going to go hang out with Julius. Hey, do you want to come out? Julius wants to come out, I think. Hold on. You want to come out? Oh. But yeah, that's the thing. Infinite, infinite energy, passion can all be yours if you realize to not care what the haters think, right? Too many people worry about what the haters think, what the negative people think. They don't focus on the people who, who like them, the people who build them up. That's your own life too. Drama from your family, drama from your friends, it all has to be stopped. It's gonna be a good time tonight, bros, cuties. We're gonna be lit. Tonight is gonna be lit. I already have, you know, we already got memes lit up. We've already, we've already got me. We're, we're already, you know, that's the thing. Do people think I'm just going to wait for 60 minutes to air and then react? Right? Do people really think I'm just going to passively wait for 60 minutes to air and then, oh my God, they, oh, they, they shot me. Oh, I'm having a heart attack. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm, ha I'm having a heart attack. They, 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 they are mean to me. They're mean to me. Oh my God. I, <coughs> I already have an article out. Go to dangerandplay.com. Go to my medium profile. I already have an article out getting my message out there. Right? I'm already pushing my narrative. My article goes, Mike Cernovich calls out Scott Peely and he did interview. Right? So I'm already, I'm already getting my messaging out. And then I went and met with these South Africans. And now I'm going to go. And I had breakfast with friends of mine and my daughter and Shauna and Julius and everybody. And I got more lined up. 
Oh, it's going to be lit. Yeah, we're already... Look, tonight you're going to see Bush League versus Major League. I've already... I've already been getting my message out. So if they lie about me, it doesn't matter. I already have articles pre-written. Did anybody think that I wouldn't have response articles already written before it airs? So if they say this, I have an article about that. If they say this, I have an article about that. If they say this, I have an article about that. I already got things written down. Been, they're already written. So I don't wait for anybody to say anything and then, oh, the media hit job. No, I'm already getting my message out there. I'm already getting my narrative out there. I'm already pushing the narrative. I'll be surprised if they even air me. I don't think they even have the courage to air me. I don't even think they're going to have the courage to feature me tonight. I actually think that they will um, cancel my segment. That is my belief. If I'm actually on 60 Minutes tonight, I will be surprised. I don't think they're tough enough to air it. I think they're, and they're terrified. Scott Peller dropped his glasses during the interview. Hey, Shauna. Okay, she's busy. We'll talk later. Scott Peller got so shook during the interview that he dropped his glasses. You can ask Shauna. He had to pick his glasses up. Why? Because I've hammered people. I'm not on the hot seat. You're on the hot seat. You think I'm in the lion's den? Come meet the lion. Come meet the gorilla. I don't go into the lion's den. I'm not trapped in with you. You're trapped in here with me. The gorilla goes into the lion's den. They had no idea. They weren't prepared. Scott Pelley wasn't even wearing a tie. Scott Pelley wasn't even wearing a tie. Because they thought I was going to come in looking like this, throwing up double, double middle fingers, calling people cucks. Right? They thought I was going to come in like this, or wearing gym clothes, and yeah, I'm the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase. Uh, they thought I was going to come in like that. They got so shook, but they got to realize there ain't no such thing as... And they were scared to death, and they were scared to look. They thought... There's a halfway crook, but there ain't no such thing. No such thing. Scared to death, scared to look, shook. So what are they going to do? They're going to battle me? They're going to hit me tonight? We'll see. We'll see how that goes. The best thing they could do would be honest about me. A little bit of critical, a little bit of not so critical, a little bit of honest. The best thing 60 Minutes could do tonight is to be honest about me. And if they're not, well, how can, how can 60 Minutes cuck me? This is a question I have a lot for you guys. What do you think I'm going to have a heart attack if they're mean to me on 60 Minutes? What are they going to do, make me look bad? To whom? To Americans who know about selective editing, right? That's the whole thing, people. You got to think things through. Plus, if I'm going to run for president or Congress one day, how can I run for Congress if I'm afraid to do 60 Minutes? A lot of people are happy in the, the Bush leagues, right? I want the big major league challenges. I want to go against mega, massive, multi-billion dollar media corporations. I want that. I want that fight. I want that fight. That is what excites me. That is what gets me up in the morning. I don't get up in the morning to argue with nobodies on the internet, like the kind of people who snip at me all day. That does, that's not exciting to me, some nobody idiot. What excites me today is knowing billion dollar media corporation, multi-billion dollar media corporation is gonna try to destroy my life tonight. Oh, I can't wait, can't wait. We are nobodies. Wrong. You guys actually matter to me. Nobodies mean the people like Rick Wilson, Lee, Louis Mensch, those people, right? The, the backbenchers of media Twitter, Maddie Iglesias, you know, the, that's what I mean by the nobodies. No, people, I love you guys. That's the whole thing. People are like, Mike, you're doing, how can you be doing a Periscope? You got 60 minutes. Like, what do you think? I'm not going to talk to you guys. 
right? I would rather talk to you guys than talk to 60 Minutes or talk to anybody else. Power of the people. All right, got friends over. We're going to go hang out. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to grill some food. Thanks for tuning in. Mike Cernovich. Wait, don't you want Napa to make a... Do you want Napa? We got another dog for him. You got to show Napa. This is... That's an alpha dog. Whoa, we got... We got the, the That's dogs. an alpha dog right there. We got all, oh. Yeah, we got all the dogs out. Oh, we got all... Oh, good boy. We got all the dogs. Good boy. Mike Cernovich. Dangerplay.com. Gorilla Mindset. Watch the Gorilla Mindset in action tonight. Will I fold? Will I be so humiliated by what 60 Minutes does to me that I will be crying? Will I fold? Will I cry? Will I say I don't know what to do? Oh my God, bad media. They're being so mean to me, guys. Hold me close. Does my name look like it's Sam Harris? Sam Harris might cry over bad press. Do I look like Sam Harris to you? Right? So what am I do? Cry? Get out of here. But you'll see it tonight, Gorilla Mindset in action. Make sure you go to Amazon.com and buy Gorilla Mindset. And more importantly, apply it to your life. No, I didn't do what Alex Jones did on Pier, Piers Morgan. No, no, no. You guys are going to be surprised. I knew that they wanted to make me look like a ranting lunatic and a madman. So I pushed back hard without losing my... Cool. But they weren't used to that. They thought they were going to ambush me. They thought it was the lion's den, but the gorilla. The gorilla meets the lion tonight.